In this lesson, we're going to talk about unusual solution sets for inequalities. And here's the deal. If you're solving an inequality and your variable terms cancel out, then the solution will either be all real numbers, in case you get a true inequality, or no solution, which you'll have when you get a false inequality. Let me show you both of these in action. So here's an inequality like we might have seen in the last lesson. To solve this, you start by distributing. And so 2 times x would be 2x, and 2 times 4 would be 8. So now I have 2x plus 8 is greater than 2x plus 3. You might notice that the x terms are the same on both sides. So if I eliminate one of my x terms, I'm actually going to eliminate both of them. And that leaves me with 8 is greater than 3. Now, there is no x left here in my answer, which feels awfully strange. And so what we have run up on here is that any number can be plugged in here in place of x and make the inequality true. All the numbers work because it's not about x. We have the same amount of x on both sides. It really just boils down to the fact that 8 is greater than 3. So, um, all the numbers are solutions here, and we can just say that the solution is uh, all the x's such that x is a real number. Now, this is the set notation for this, and um, it, you're not going to be asked, in my class anyway, to remember how to write this down. It would be a multiple choice kind of situation, but you just need to know that, that when you see this, it's saying that all the numbers could be a solution. If you graph this on a number line, you would have to graph the entire line, and therefore your interval would be negative infinity to positive infinity. And here's another one. Uh, 3 times x minus 8 minus 2 times 10 minus x is greater than 5 times x minus 1. Okay, if we distribute, now remember when you distribute a negative 2, you have to be careful here, so... Negative 2 times 10 is negative 20, and negative 2 times negative x is plus 2x. Now let's combine x terms. We'll have 5x, and then combine constants, and we get minus 44. And the right side is still 5x minus 5. Now notice again that the, that the uh, x terms on each side are alike. So if we combine our x terms, or if we eliminate one x term, we eliminate them both and we end up with negative 44 is greater than negative 5. And again, there's no x. See, that's the key to these unusual solution set problems, is that you'll recognize them because there's no x left in the final statement. So you just have to ask yourself, is this true or false? Well, this one is false. Negative 44 is much smaller than negative 5. So and that what that's telling us is, there are no x values that can make this true because we can't get around the fact that negative 44 is greater than negative 5. No x value can help make that true. So this is false, and that's just telling us that there's no solution. And if there's no solution, then you can't graph anything and you won't have any interval notation, but you might see the empty set uh, symbol this zero with a line through it, or it's really just a circle with a line through it, and it stands for empty set.